Now, this is most likely nothing, but it's just a whole bunch of coincidences, if you will, or connections that probably aren't even there that I'm just kind of willy-nilly, you know, grabbing at straws. But I do think that nothing, these major newsmakers, none of them are just willy-nilly, out of the blue, unexpected events. I think they're all orchestrated stage things that happen and, and it all run by the Kabbalistic, fake Jew, Saturn, scum, Jesuit, Masonic order. Okay, so when you have this... SpaceX rocket that just exploded a couple days ago, which you gotta love it, right? SpaceX. So there's your Phoenician Saturn reference. Uh, rocket exploded at its Cape Canaveral launch pad Thursday morning, destroying the rocket and the satellite it was due to launch on Saturday. And it's also funny that it's called Falcon 9. Right, so there's your nine, there's your six, there's your vortex, there's how the fake Jew Saturn scum Jesuit order Masonic jerk offs, right? Their god Saturn is I've showed you in occult science where I learned it from him, it's showed a thousand times. You know, they write it they write their god Saturn numerically fifteen, either ten and five, which is one and five is six, or nine and six, nine and six is fifteen, one and five is six. And then what to really you which you just gotta love, right? So this rocket was carrying a satellite to be used by Facebook to bring internet access to Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. Okay, so I think it's funny that also the same day that this thing exploded, there was a ring of fire solar eclipse that happened where? Over Africa. Okay, and you gotta love that the thing was called, the satellite was called Amos 6. Which, here is the book of Amos 5.26, where God's talking to the fake Jews, and he's saying, But ye have borne the tab tabernacle of your Moloch and Chayun, which is a Syrian for Saturn, your images, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. Right? And of course, because you just can't make this stuff up, the satellite was owned by fake Jew Israeli company Spacecom. You know, someone needs to tell these people, and I had someone because people just can't, they just can't get over it. I'm not saying every person in Israel is bad. I'm not saying every Israeli is bad. I'm not saying if you're a Jew, you're evil. I'm not saying if you're any of these, you're either part of this club or you're not, okay? So let's not get all butt hurt and get our panties all up in a twist because I'm saying that the Israeli space com company are a bunch of cussing dirtbags. Someone needs to tell that Israeli space company that, hey, you guys are kind of contradictory because God or the Bible or whatever you, whatever you want to look at it says that the moon is a light, but space science and all this kind of bullshit says it's a rock. So, you know, you kind of got to get your story straight here because it seems like you're intentionally deceiving people. But anyway, people are going to hear what they're going to want to hear and they're going to say that I'm bad-mouthing every Jew, every person in Israel and this is not the case, but, you know, whatever. I'm not here. Don't really give a shit, okay? So, it, that's that's just, and so, you also have this, where it was major news about a week ago. Total solar eclipse of August 21st, the Great American Eclipse. Countdown begins for the American Eclipse. A one-year countdown begins for the Great American Eclipse. Countdown begins for the Great American Eclipse. So, it seems like it's a really big deal. So it almost just makes me wonder if they had this thing blow up the same day as the eclipse to just kind of give, I don't know, necessarily maybe not even maybe a warning, but hey, things are all, things are all planned. Things are going great. And, and look, this thing, I wasn't there. This could be all CGI. I don't even know if any of this even happened. And you have that show, The Strain, that just premiered its season three premiere started Sunday, just a few days before this happened, and that show's logo is the cussing eclipse. And this is your horned god, your your everything. Here it is. Here it is on the United Nations. See, it's the same thing. Here's the wing disc. It's the same thing. Here it is again. Same thing. Here it is again. Same thing. Here it is old school, whatever, Babylonian, Mesopotamian, all the same stuff. And this is my favorite, man. Here's Anonymous with their little Phoenician symbol here, the question mark, which is, I, I think, is a reference of the sickle or scythe, and that represents death. But regardless, this is an old Phoenician symbol for Saturn. 
and here is your whole the new um, American Horror Story that's coming out. You see the symbol? This is the new, this is the new logo of the new se of the new season. It's the vortex. It's the 69. It's the 96. It's Saturn. It's 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 the same thing. So I love it when people really think that Anonymous cares and is really hacking things and and they're really going to get they're going to take the government down or they're really going to make them pay. And then you have this, of course, that also just came out in the news. NASA satellite captures rare double eclipse of the sun by moon and earth. And yes, NASA's bullshit too, okay? I'm just trying to tell you that it seems like to me that there's a lot of eclipse talk surrounding this explosion that took place the same day of a solar eclipse ring of fire over there in Africa, which is where the satellite was, one of the places the satellite was supposed to deliver internet access to. So, probably nothing. I just think it's strange. Wanted to share some potential maybe connections. We'll see. Because we have that in August, that big eclipse over America next year. And then right after that is the metaphor or whatever it is with, with Cassini and Saturn. I don't know. I don't really believe in space. So, I don't know what that whole Cassini is going to get satellite. Cassini is going to get slammed into Saturn really means. Could be one big metaphor. And it's funny because I know either people are just initially trying to just, they're just trying to take digs at me, or they're not even watching the videos. Because I had someone just all just crawled up in my ass saying, you must believe in the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus, saying that NASA is doing this and NASA is doing that. You must believe it. When I clearly say that it could be a metaphor, but like I told you, people are just going to, they're just going to, they're just going to take shots at me because either they're paid to do it or they're scared to death or whatever reason. But I can take it because... Who gives a shit? It's funny, you have all these people that talk all this smack on YouTube, like you got this Joe Sever guy. You know, I'd like to see videos of that guy going on the street and talking to people the way he does on the internet. I'd like to see him take make a video of him just going up on the street and calling someone a stupid goyim and that they should kill themselves. But you won't ever see that video, will you? You sure won't. I want to see it happen. But, you know, that's just not the way cowards work. So, thanks to my subscribers.